Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Prisno. So, when we last left off, well, it's actually been a little while since we last played, and what basically happened is the Tolranians ransomed their king back, so we're at peace with them now, and I mean, they have their own problems to deal with. And meanwhile, the Hakan Empire declared war on us again, so it's time for us to go to war. And I also, off-camera, spent some time giving some of my companions, uh, making them into lords and giving them land and stuff, just so that we can actually, hopefully, start turning a profit again. Actually, let's take a look at that. That wrong menu. Uh, weekly budget report. There we go. So as you can see, we're making a pretty reasonable amount of money. I mean, we're losing 11% inefficiency, which, which uh, is actually a pretty significant amount. We're losing 24,000 orums a turn. We're losing 11,000 due to our party. Uh, 9,000, 4,000. So basically, I mean, all of our uh, castles are pretty expensive at this point. Staff. So, wow, we're actually losing 18,000 a month. Or a, a week. Man, it's gotten really expensive all of a sudden. So, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Alright. Though, I, I feel part of our problem is the fact that... F I feel usually... Oh, what's this? A Volhir contingent from Nesenia. I feel for some reason that, uh... Like, uh, we're not getting... The kind of, uh, like, vassals are not defecting to our side, basically. And I'm not entirely sure why they're not. What's this? Oh! Let's see, I've returned from my mission to the Redwood Nation. In general, I would say Queen Arwen wishes to be at peace with Ender Farstrider, so as to pursue the war against the Kingdom of, of Tolrania. Nevertheless, I tried to convince her, we gained some right to rule, and we can welcome Agnar back. Yeah, basically, I'm, I'm trying to improve my whole- oh god. What is this? Ah, and this is why... So basically, the entire Hakan army is chasing me. You know, if I can get them to try besieging me, that... I mean, at this point, it wouldn't be the worst thing to have these guys... Uh, um, what are they doing? Okay. Anyway, alright, so we're not going to be able to take that. Oh, look at that, the Xan have taken Kulvara. I assume the reason the Hakan are fighting me is because they are attempting to take some land and stuff so as to make up for the losses they're facing against the Xan, who, as you saw, I believe, Crane has been besieged, huh? You know what? I'm going to see if I can take Samara Castle in the time it takes them to, like, get to the battle phase over there. I also feel, at this point... I probably shouldn't be, like, upgrading anyone at this point. I'll upgrade these guys. And you guys. But I'm not going to upgrade anyone else. Because we can't really afford it. Pretty sure my all my various vassals, uh, not enough money to up... Yeah, I don't have any money in my treasury at this point. It's getting pretty expensive. Also might have noticed I upgraded, uh... Oh, thank God, it's just ladders. I upgraded some of our stuff. Oh, what's this? Okay. Alt, you cannot defeat me, teach you a painful lesson. Alright, you don't like me. Let's see. Okay, he doesn't... I want to fight you. Alright. Ooh. Well, this isn't good. Alright. Uh, take positions. Take positions. And take positions. Then everyone. Uh, formation orders. Stand closer, stand closer, stand closer. No, no, everyone. Stand closer, stand closer, stand closer. Try to get a nice, uh, tight thing going here. Right, infantry. and 10 paces. Cavalry. and 10 paces. And everyone. Advance, 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 advance. All right. All right, also, we've changed the battle size, so, you know, things are going to be a little, uh... You know what, also, everyone, uh, fire at command, 
advance, 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 advance. All right, because they're being kind of silly here, they're not going to be able to get a good charge in here, so. Fire at will. And hopefully our archers are able to get in some good shots. Okay. All right, they're like circling around us for some inexplicable reason. All right, I'm gonna do something crazy here. And they're not charging, that's the thing. So, uh, ow. Okay, how come my guys are not, like, actually getting any hits in? This is crazy. Come on. Come on. I gotta take out as many guys as possible. Wow, the taking is good. Oh, God. Got in a good battle cry. Heal up. Ah! Okay, this is not going well for me. Alright, good. Now we're getting the kills. Ow. There we go. All right, I gotta get back in. And that, that was kind of stupid of me, to be honest. All right, everyone, uh, stand ground, stand ground, for the love of all those good and holy, stand ground. All right, how's it looking? Oh my God, this is uh, not looking good for us, to be honest. We're taking a lot of deaths, but we have killed a reasonably high number of them, so I guess that's okay. Uh, archers, I'm gonna get you to fall back a little bit. Uh, not that far back. Alright. So this is actually going reasonably badly for us, to be honest. But then again, I guess having a bunch of people die is probably for the best, because we can't afford to pay them anyway. So better they die honorably in battle, and then, you know, we get their... their family a nice ham or something. I don't know. I mean, we've considered, I mean, all things considered, we've killed a lot more of them than they have of us, so overall, I tell everyone to advance a bit here. And uh, I guess at this point, I'll cut away until the end of the battle. Well, you know what, no, we might as well watch this whole thing. All right, and 21 dead. That pains me, but oh, and our troop morale is wavering. Ah, but these guys are all like basically scrub tier units, so frankly, you know what? I'm just gonna get everyone to charge, except the archers. Please uh, stand your ground. Oh crap! No, no, charge! You guys stand ground and then kind of fall back, and then advance, advance, advance. All right, good. All right, I'll kind of, I'll try to have the archers sort of hold back a little bit here. All right. This should work out okay. I'm pretty confident at this point that things are going to work out okay. All right, archers can just charge now. And yeah, we, we got this one in the bag. Like, as you can see, I mean, we're just pounding the hell out of them. Like, they, they've got nothing. They've got nothing. We got this. We got this. I mean, we lost 20 free men. They lost 270 some. We, we get 14 captives, which is good, because we do kind of need that money. I really should try building an army composition that's focused more on, uh, like, taking out, like, knocking out people so we can get more prisoners rather than... Oh, I was sipping my drink there. Rather than, you know, outright killing them. Because then we can become a slaver empire. Which is everything we stand against. Of course, then again... We're not really enslaving anyone, we're basically, we're capturing them and then ransoming them back to their own people. At least I assume that's what we're doing when we're sending them to those ransom brokers. It's entirely possible, and in fact, quite likely, I would say, that the, when we're selling them to ransom brokers, we're actually, you know, selling them into slavery. Because most of these, especially like these peasant tier troops here, who's going to pay for them? Like, we've seen what the lords of Prisno are like. Oh, that you... Poor guy, you're you're so close to the edge of the map. Oh, you actually managed to escape. One guy managed to escape with an arrow in his back. Good for him. Oi. And he ran away like a dirty coward. Uh, I mean, he has weakened us, but we're still in a good position, I would say. Hopefully. To capture... Ooh. You know what? I'll upgrade the archers. Because that's probably 
And you can become a great knight. Oh, I have no ever great knights? Ah, maybe that was a bad idea. Oh, yeah, you can be right behind him. All right, good enough. Ugh. Gotta be honest. The, I, I was really hoping that by now people would just be, like, tripping over themselves to join my army, but apparently not. And by join my army, I mean, like, tripping over themselves to defect from their current lords and saying, Hey, this guy is much better. We should join him instead. But apparently that's just not happening. All right, how many guys are in here, first of all? Okay. We'll get a lot of prisoners out of this, or at least be able to recruit a lot of guys. Hmm. Sectum. Uh, I don't like the idea of taking yet another castle that's not gonna belong to anyone right away. I almost wonder, if I was just taking everything for myself and then giving it to uh, vassals later, if that would... I think that avoids the opinion penalty, actually, now that I think about it. I could be wrong about that. Uh, let's wait until tomorrow, wait until tomorrow, wait until tomorrow. Why is my relation with all these people suddenly improved? I don't know. Wait until tomorrow. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> All right, let's uh, lead our soldiers in the assault. All right. All right, my command, follow me. Oh, God. Okay. Infantry, cavalry, archers, and fire at will. Let's uh, give everyone a nice morale boost there. Heal myself. And there we go. We will advance ever so slightly. Actually, you know what? We'll fall back ever so slightly so that we actually are in like, visual range to be shooting these guys. A little higher. A little higher. There we go. Pretty sure I was the one who got that shot in. Maybe not. Oh, I got that shot in, though. There we go. I mean, as usual, the key to any siege is to start off by taking out all the guys on the wall, if you can. Beautiful. You know, it, I didn't realize just how many sharpshooters uh, the Hakan people seem to have. They have a lot of sharpshooters. Then again, I mean, it makes sense to build up your... Build up your, uh, your siege force to have lots of arrow people in it. All right. Come on, take out the guy in the fancy hat. Oh, am I hitting his shield? That's, that's ridiculous. Come on, take that guy out. Oh, I just missed his head by a little bit. There we go. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Oh, and I'm out of arrows. All right, let's uh, get another war cry in here. There we go. Heal everyone up. Can I uh, heal myself like a bit? I cannot. All right. Infantry, follow me. Cavalry, follow me. Archers, stay down where you are for the time being. All right. So basically, now we got to breach the walls. And the easiest way to do that, wait until we get up here, do a battle cry to scare everyone off, hopefully. Oh, God. Infantry, ch oh, God. Oh god. Ah. Oh, this is not going to end well for me, is it? I'm going down, aren't I? And I went down. Oh boy. Bit of lag there for a second. How are we doing? We've lost 10 men. We've killed 60 some of them. I am tempted at this point to uh, just pull back and start this whole siege again. That might be better on my uh, on my troops. It's basically again what we'd end up doing is uh, killing a bunch of them and then uh, pulling back and then. Yeah, plus the time it would take us to re-siege would allow us to, uh, to heal up. Yeah, but then again, you know what? 
we might as well push forward, I think. I mean, we're either going to win or we're going to die. That's how the Game of Thrones is played, my friends. So anyway, I'll cut away until the end of this battle, and I'll see you guys when we are either, you know, victorious or dead. Alright, so as you can see, the battle is nearly over, and, well, it is actually over now, and, well, we thoroughly, thoroughly beat them. Which is good. We took some reasonably heavy losses, but we, overall, did pretty good for ourselves. Which makes me very, very happy. And, uh, yeah. Actually, I suppose what I should be doing at this point is, um, actually getting, uh, see here getting uh <clears throat> excuse me like getting my vassals to follow me because that would probably make it easier to uh, i guess effectively defend everything and by defend everything i i mean like it would, it would be it would save my men from constantly dying effectively and we'd still have some of my men dying, but we'd have fewer of my men dying, and sort of the losses would be better distributed. I am really tempted to just take it for myself, to be honest. Hmm. Will that piss everyone off? It will not. Alright, so I just took I just took it for myself. Why not? We will spare equally. That's of course the problem of having a lot of vassals, is that, you know, we're just we're not getting a very good oh right that's a problem <laughs> all right well the beauty of this i suppose is that now all of uh because there's so few uh people in the garrison here we'll be able to convince the enemy that it's actually a good idea to attack hmm I'll put a couple of Dark Forest Rangers in here. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Pretty good to me. Actually, I noticed that our uh, infantry is starting to... I guess... wane a little bit. We have too many archers. But again, can you really have too many archers? I would say the answer to that is no. Uh, what do I need for persuasion? Because I, I do want to keep buffing his persuasion, because I think that, in addition to either, it's either per, pers uh, persuasion or charisma, that affects their ability to, um, actually, I uh, can, like, when you send them out on diplomatic missions, that they'll be successful. Uh, we'll buff your trainer a little bit. There we go. And buff up that a little, and that a little, because why not? Again, because we don't really have the money, I won't do that. I'm I'm pretty sure I've probably only made things worse by taking this stuff for myself. But we can we can trade it off to someone else later. A crane is still under siege, so let's make our way over to Crane. We probably won't be taking care of that or fighting that particular battle this episode, but we will We will be dealing with that more or less. I don't want to take out these, uh, sandwalk. I mean, there's so many bloody sandwalkers, which is probably causing a problem for my, like, for trade and stuff. Like, look at all these. Oh, oh, crap. Okay. Apparently a little patrol of 20-some guys figured they can take me. Good for you. I mean, if you don't have dreams, then, you know, what do you got, right? Uh, get a little war cry there to improve everyone's morale and then we will uh, stand closer stand closer and we will oh god lances oh I should probably get off my horse right. archers could you could you shoot your arrows please that would be much appreciated and 10 paces and 10 paces Oh, I didn't say charge. Apparently I did say charge. I'm an idiot. And stand here. Alright. 
So, uh, yeah. Everyone, advance, 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 advance. All right, there we are. Just advance into the enemy, please. And wh where are you? You know what, let's just charge. This is like, why bother with any kind of tactical planning and micro man, are you kidding me? We lost someone? How dare you lose someone in this war or in this particular battle? Come on. Anyway, basically, this was a complete slaughter for the enemy because they suck. I mean, they did manage to kill one of us, but oh well. And we gained some morale, which is good. We're gonna have to sell some stuff. That's an ever important thing. And people are ready to upgrade. That's always nice as well. There we go. All right, so what is this? Drahara Scouts. We have the Hikon over here. Basically, what I think is going to happen is the Hakan are probably going to just get completely smashed by the Xan. At least they should if the Xan are intelligent and, you know, properly do their whole CG thing. And as for us, let's uh, go to Crane. And now I think what happened with the AI there is the scout figured these guys would help them, but they didn't because they're busy sieging. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the tavern. It's funny how we have the king going to the tavern to do all this. Oh, hello there, Mr. Wandering Ashik. I already know all your poems, apparently. All right, let's... Uh, I want to sell all my prisoners. That is not nearly enough. I really do need to... Like, maybe change the composition of my party a little bit so that we can actually, hopefully get more prisoners so that we can actually keep a positive cash flow going here. Because our cash flow is actually not that great right now. Which, which hurts, it does. Somewhat supportive, only somewhat you say. All right, so let's see, we have 248 guys in here. There's probably like a thousand guys here. Um. Hmm. What is the rest of the realm doing? You know what? I'm going to uh, consult the party here. Uh, Agnar, can I send you off for a moment? I would like you to send a message that we want to start a new campaign, gather all our forces. All right, good. Oh, wait. You're not actually going anywhere. Oh, good. You, you'll just take care of that automatically then, will you? Excellent. So hopefully that means my vassals will actually start gathering because with their help, Hopefully, we can do a bit better. I mean, we've got to smash the Hakan army here. I'll... You know what? No, I, I probably should show that on camera because this is a dramatic, like, narrative moment. But after that, I'm going to just go back to completely smashing their army as best I can. It's funny seeing the Kaikov all the way over here because normally they kind of just stick to their own, their own lands. But anyway, basically, I'm going to push hard, probably this way mostly. I'll, I'll, I will hopefully allow the Xan to kind of conquer over here a bit, and hopefully that also results in their forces kind of dying down a little. You'd figure the Hakan wouldn't be pursuing a war when their own homeland is being just absolutely destroyed by the Xan dynasty here. But then again, they're probably thinking to themselves, well, you know, the Gaslight Empire is weak, right? Because apparently they dramatically underestimated the power of my armies, but, you know, all right. Actually, I think it's because the AI specifically targets the player because, you know, they're assholes that way. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.